well, guess what, everybody? Got myself a new engine. Well, okay, maybe it's not entirely new, but it's new to me. You guys might even recognize what kind of engine it is. Yeah! See that? Briggs and Stratton. Uh, I don't know what year it is, but when I got it, it had a uh, old, not torque converter, but a centrifugal clutch on it for a belt. And whatever belt it took, it was a real tiny belt. It's uh, the shaft on the engine is a 5 8 shaft, but this thing right here is what this little clutch went on. And uh, <laughs> when wh whoever put this thing together, I don't know who it was, but you can see the outside sleeve here, this piece right there, and move the weights. This piece right here was like that, but instead of doing what they should have done and put a bolt on there, they decided to take the steel that was sticking out and mushroom it out with a hammer. So they split it to hold this thing on. So I had to pull out my cutting wheel and cut away at that steel cut away at those little folded pieces so I could get this thing off. But now I can't get this part off. It had a little uh, set screw in there, but I loosened that up and tried to pull this off and it wouldn't come off. So I'm not really too sure what I'm going to do here. Even though this shaft is a 5 8 shaft, and I haven't measured this out, but I'm willing to bet that that's uh, from flat edge, you know, from, let's see here, flat edge to flat edge. I'm willing to bet that that's about three quarter inch. So if I were to play my uh, cards right, I might be able to grind down these corners and make this thing rounded to the point to where it's a three quarter inch shaft. Maybe. I don't know if I want to go that route. Because trying to find something that I could adapt this 5 8 and have put a regular go-kart clutch on there, I don't know how I'd do that. I'm sure I'd figure it out. You guys would help me. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of odd because uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's so old, it's got one of these uh, pole chokes. It's got a little pole choke on it. Heh, that's kind of neat. But uh, let me put the camera up on that tripod and we'll play around with this thing a little bit. All right. Well, turn this so you guys can see. Take the screw off. here and position it behind the camera so you guys will have a better than this. There we go. Look at that. Yuck. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty old uh, foam filter thingy, my barber. Oh, geez, that comes out too? Oh my god. Yeah. yeah if, you, if the camera will show it, when you pull the choke, hopefully you guys can see that down inside the car. Huh. Springs don't look too good. Huh. Well, it's got some pretty decent compression. Fuck! Jesus, it's got spark. Is that that close to that thing? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Well, we know that's okay. 
<laughs> Let's look inside the fuel tank and see how juicy and gummed up. Oh my god. Smells like turpentine. Yeah. Yeah, maybe this is one of those projects for, uh... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I wonder how bad the, uh, exhaust is rusted out. I'm afraid to squeeze it. <laughs> it falls apart on my hand. Oh, looks like she's been dropped. Or something, right there. Huh, I wonder if I can find any more parts for this. Let me see if we'll find a number on here. See the number two. Yes, number two. Yes, yes. Uh-huh. I don't want to tip this too far over. <laughs> I don't even know if there's even any oil in it. I haven't even checked that yet. Stratton gasoline engine. Uh, no, he doesn't tell me what this is, what uh, model or any of that crap. Yeah. Huh. Let's see if there's any oil in it, shall we? Yeah, there's oil in it too. Jeez. The guy I got this from said that he had it sitting around in his house or in his garage for about three years. <coughs> but I'm willing to bet he didn't do a single thing to it because I can tell by looking at that filter. filter is way older than three years. Yeah. Uh huh. I don't even know if I'll be able to even get any There's supposed to be another linkage in here somewhere? I think that this would be the throttle. And this would be the governor. That's what I'm thinking. But maybe I shouldn't be thinking. Because <laughs> that's when things start happening. <laughs> And the strain has got a straight port right through, right in to the engine. Uh, should I try taking off the exhaust, guys? Should I try it? Yes. Wait, I can't even spin it. Because if I spin it, I'll hit this or the gas tank. So I'd have to take the gas tank off, the carburetor, before I even take this off. Oh, man. Oh, wait. Turn that? Yeah, it looks like I might be able to do that if I turn these, uh... Turn that there. Let's try. 
see what happens when I experiment with my ignorance. <laughs> She blows, people. You know, we need to run. Oh, shoot. That ain't gonna work. That's what I thought. That's what I was afraid of. Yep. This is going to be one of those projects for a rainy day when I'm bored and I don't feel like doing anything and yet I still want to get dirty. Right? It's one of those projects. You guys know what I'm talking about? Okay. I hope so. Because if you don't know what I'm talking about, then I'm just going to look like a dumbass. So, um, let me put this thing back together. And it'll probably be a rainy day project. From one guy's garage where he didn't do anything with it to my shop where I probably won't do anything with it. Yeah! <laughs> uh, <sighs> well, that's what we got going on. It's kind of a neat little engine. I mean, I've got my other little uh, Harbor Freight 2.5 horsepower engine. I don't know what this is. I really don't. 2.5, 3, who knows. Dumb thing. I mean, this might, it's not even sal salvageable because this is all broke out. That's all broke out right there. Hopefully you guys can see this. Sorry. But, and there was no spring that went around it. Nothing. Still pretty neat. I got this from the gentleman who is coming to pick up the trailer. You know my trailer that I had? Uh, oh, God. Last year, I did a simple little video on it. Yeah, let me put the camera up. I did a simple little video on that trailer that I got that I was going to fix up. But I decided that it's just... By the time I got done fixing it up and doing what I wanted to do with it, I might as well just go out and buy a new one. So that's what I'm gonna that's what I'm gonna be doing. If I can, or I'll just build one. You know, I could build one, but the hardest thing is to find the axles. You know? Find an axle for something like that. So I don't know. To figure it out. But anyways guys, that's my new little toy here. My new little uh my first Briggs and Stratton. I don't know how difficult it will be to find uh, parts for it. I don't know. Maybe Donnie Boy 73 will be able to help me out with this thing. <laughs> That'd be cool. Yeah. It definitely got spark though, I can tell you that much. I don't, there's one screw here, I don't know, but anyways, yeah, that's the new little engine, pretty cool, huh? All right, see you guys later.